Hi everybody, I'm Rebecca from Crunch Vista, and this is your tutorial on how to use the group fitness microphone. First thing to know, when you look at the microphone, do you notice how we have a power button and a mute button? Now keep this in mind everyone, this is very important. As soon as we turn on the receiver, which I'll show you in a minute, you absolutely need your power to be on and you need a fresh battery to be in. If you don't, you're gonna get horrible static. If you ever get bad static, what you need to know is you probably have either the power off or a bad battery. So the first thing I'm gonna do as I come to the group fitness room is I'm gonna put in my battery and I'm gonna make sure that the power is on. Now after I've done that, I can put the lid on the microphone and I can come over to the receiver. Here is what we call the receiver. Now I'm going to turn on my receiver. Now do you notice how I have all the green lights? That's telling me my receiver is on. Now, once I put on my headset, I'm gonna listen for sound. If I have sound, I'm good to go. If I don't have sound, let me show you how to troubleshoot. Test, test, test. I have sound. Good thing, I'm ready to go. But let's pretend I didn't have sound. How would I troubleshoot? First thing I would do is I would look to make sure that the mute button is off. Because if the mute button was on, then even though I have power, I'm still not gonna get sound. Hello, hello? Nothing. So I need to make sure that the mute button is off. Now let's say my power button is on, my mute button is off, and my receiver is on and I still don't have sound. What do I do next? I come here to the wall and I push the menu button. Now first what comes up is CD volume. And you might think, oh, I don't need to do anything there. Well, you do because the CD volume is also your master volume. So go to CD volume and turn it up a few notches. Then go to mic volume, turn that up a few notches. Finally, make sure that your mute is not on. Once I have that done, test, 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 I now have my volume. Now let's talk about the best way when your class is complete to preserve the mic for the next instructor. When your class is complete, don't take the battery out and turn it off before turning the receiver off or you will get horrible feedback. Turn the receiver off first. Once the receiver is off, now I wanna take my battery out. Do you know why? If I keep it in, it's going to constantly burn the battery and all of our batteries will be dead. So now I can take the battery out, I can leave my power on or off, it doesn't matter, and I can store the mic in its container. Thanks for watching our tutorial. Have a great class.